Hey guys, it's Lisa. Happy Friday. Thank you for coming back. Today I have more home, lots of good new different makeup, like not the same things that you see all over the place, and an Abercrombie and Fitch haul. I have so many people ask me about that, and the last time I went on the website, I didn't see anything. It was a, probably about... Gosh, to be fair, it was probably about two months ago, but I wore these pants in a video. I hope that I can find the picture. I could not believe they were still available. These are some of the best trousers you will ever try on. The rise is perfect. The length is perfect. The weight of the fabric. So I'm gonna talk about those things. But first I want to tell you about a special that's going on with my Sleep and Glow pillow. To be honest, this is my backup because John had already made the bed and my real one is always at the bottom and it is so grungy, you guys. It's so embarrassing. This one is my backup and the Sleep and Glow pillow is, it's got a couple of different pluses and functions for me. First of all, it's an anti-aging pillow, so it does not crease your face. John came out the other morning. He said, you think I slept hard? He had a full crease all the way down his face, but he does kind of sleep like that. And like I've heard people say that even if you have lash extensions, that it's really good because when you put your head on the pillow, you have like this indention. My favorite thing is it helps me breathe easily. I don't know if you've tried to like put your head on a really fluffy pillow and it kind of fluffs up around your face. I don't like that. I am a clean, crisp air kind of person. I don't like, you will never see me sleeping under the covers or anything like that. And I just love it for those reasons. And it's really good for your neck and your back. To me, it is the perfect like elevation. At first I thought I'm never gonna be able to sleep that low because I had always been a two pillow girl. And even like just now when we went to the hotel, I didn't take it with me. I could have, cause we drove. I had the hardest time. One pillow's not enough because it doesn't have the body like right here by your neck, but two pillows is too much. And that was the story of my life. I was always trying to find one fat pillow with a skinny pillow. I have slept on this pillow every day for I don't know how many years. I'm serious, I love it. And because it is their birthday, they're offering us a special discount. Oh, and she did say she sent me, let me go get my sleep mask and show you real quick. Hold on, it's funny. Okay, here it is. It is so grubby. This is my favorite sleep mask. You guys know I have bought the silk expensive one. I've bought so many. I always go back to this one. I have washed it a couple of times. It is like my Whoopi sleep mask. So I asked them if they didn't mind. She said she sent me two sleep masks and my promo code for this video and this promotion for us is Lisa Lisa 7 You will get 15% discount on all items until July 23rd. So if you have been thinking about this pillow, I think it is a good time to try it. I also gave my mom one. And so this morning, knowing I was going to do this video, I asked her any points that you like about it because she had already told me that she really liked it. She said it's not too high and gives soft neck support. Doesn't tilt head too far forward. Nice size, not too big, easy to handle. But that was some good input because my mom has back issues. She started working out out and her neck and places in her back started bothering her. It was going down her arm. So that is when she really got into sleeping with this pillow and it has helped. So I will put all of the information down below, including the code and their whole website, sleep mask and everything. Okay, next let's go into some makeup because I know that my makeup girls are here on Friday. This is the palette that I was telling you about in my latest Zara video. I'll put that up here. I probably would have never looked at this, but I walked in Ulta the other day and Vernon was there and he was my sales associate years ago, first at Chanel counter, then at Dior. Now he is at Ulta, which has our Chanel counter and a Dior counter. So I should have known I was in trouble. He knows what I like. He knows my look. So we did some good shopping that day together. And this he recommended. And when I first looked at it, it's the Natasha Denona Yucca palette. I thought, hmm, 
Hmm, on first glance, I did not think I was gonna like this, but you guys, it is so pretty. Now I will say it's a little more out there than I'm used to if you use these glitter shadows, but I felt like I wanted to go ahead and go for it, you know, since I got it. And like this color is a really good transition color. This color is good. I don't know if I've used that one yet. I think I've pretty much stuck with this one. This one, I do like the dark color over my liner. I've just really enjoyed, oh, and I even used a little bit of that. I got crazy and I really do like it. So I understand if it looks too out there for you, but if any of these are calling your name, you will enjoy this palette. They had all the Dior blushes, the new ones from this collection. And you guys know I have the Rosewood is my newest one, which is beautiful. I have the pink original and I have the coral. And I really do like those. If I'm going for a matte blush, those are usually my go-tos. So I ended up picking up Cherry, which is quite a bit brighter than my typical blush, but I know that some of you love blush. I see it and it does brighten. Matter of fact, Brooke, my daughter, loves a big pop of color on her cheeks. So I have this on today my style, like I did a light brush of it, but you can see it's still more color than I'm used to, and I do think it brightens your face. I love it. Then I just, I guess I was feeling daring that day. I saw this color, which is mahogany, and I thought I am going to try it. I'm gonna try it on my eyes for a crease color, which I have not done yet, but I have been loving it for contour, serious contour. Like if you really like a contour like I do, that's not even the special part that is. Contouring the jawline with this, it reminds me of that Makeup Forever color that Scott Barnes used on Tati when he did that J.Lo glow look. That was a victim of me when I moved in the house and I got rid of most all my makeup. I had just like a meltdown because I did not want to junk up this house and I hadn't done my makeup closet upstairs yet. So a lot of things just got given away and that is one I have regretted, but this replaces it. It looks like super, super dark and it is. <laughs> I guess it's softer when you actually use it, it's softer. I promise I will use this soon in the crease of my eye because I'm thinking that's where it's going to be really, really pretty. Okay, oh gosh. Let's keep on with that visit to Ulta. I asked him about the lip products because they're my favorite. And I ended up getting a Natasha Denona lipstick that looked like it was gonna be really light and what I like in the store, but when I got it home, I did not even swatch it or anything because when I rolled it up, I could tell it had too much yellow and brown in it for me. So I ended up returning that, but I kept four lip liners. Not gonna go in any order. This one is Lian. So you can see that is a brown mauve nude, which is really one of my favorite colors. But you have to be careful what you put this with because it can turn whatever lipstick you're using kind of drab. You want to put this with your more poppy type colors like YSL 50, whatever, the melon one. You want to use something like this. You always want to kind of balance it out like you do in most color you know, decor and stuff. Okay, this is Natasha. Okay, this is another nude, but this is more of a pinky brown, less mauve tone to it. Just a good one. Okay, if you are not used to using lip liners and you want a good one just to start with and just to play around with, this would be a good one because it's not in your face and I think it would go with most every lip color, including glosses and just like chapstick or something like that. Okay, this one is Clio and you can see that Clio has a little bit more intensity and a little bit more brown than Natasha, but you can see where I'm going here. I'll take a good picture in the sun too. And then last but not least is Gaia. Okay, Gaia has the most color. Gaia is for you if you mostly wear pink lipsticks and pink glosses. You will love this. Don't forget too to mix pink lip liners with peachy lipsticks. When you mix them up together, they create the prettiest colors. I mean, 
that's when you get a lip that people ask you what lipstick you're wearing and you're like about five <laughs> but you can see how all of those are right up my alley they do last a long time i love the consistency and i recommend these i recommend julia too is another one that i've tried in the past that is a really good one okay you guys i just sat down i am out of my wipes downstairs so i decided just to get a wet paper towel they won't come off they will not come off with the wet paper towel like <laughs> so that shows you how long lasting those lip liners are okay oh my gosh i've got two of these out here and okay cantaloupe i told you about the anastasia cantaloupe last week well another one i like is guava so cantaloupe is going to be more of that light peachy and then guava is a little bit more of the pink but i hope that you can see they both have these little teeny like micro sparkles and they make a lip combo beautiful you know what i don't think guava has the sparkles okay cantaloupe only has sparkles guava is more like your let's say mac see-through or something like that but I've loved it. Look how pretty that is. Oh my gosh, see how it's not patchy at all? It is beautiful. Then I got several of these to try for us. They're the new L'Oreal Infallible. This is the number 100 fairy tale ending. I believe they're like new liquid lipsticks, long wearing, you know, all of the things. And I did wear this and I loved it. I'll try the other ones too, but Mm. Okay, you guys, that lip liner won't even come off with soap. So I'm telling you, it's going to last. Okay, so now we're on to some exciting makeup I got from Edward Bess. I was on the Revolve website and I saw Edward Bess. I was like, gosh, that is a brand I have not thought about in so long. So I decided to get some things to try and I'm so glad I did. I'm going to start with my favorite thing. This is something so many of you would like. I've been using it and loving it, and it is the Fully Defined Brow Duo in Neutral. It's what I've got on my brows today. I think I've been wearing it every day since I got it. I love it. This is a must have. This is something 99.9% I think you will love. First of all, I love the color. Second of all, I love the size of the tip of it. It's not too fat, it's not too thin, it's not too sticky, and it rolls all the way down. And I don't know, why is that such a big deal? But it seems to be, it's right up there with pockets and a dress. Here's the thing, it's not going to swatch good. And that is because good brow products like this don't swatch well, because that's the magic of them, is they come off more in your brow hairs. The color comes off better, and then on your skin, it's faint. So it's not so harsh. I love it. Another good part about it is the end. And I've never been a big highlight girl. Like if I'm really going all out, maybe I will. But this little end, and I have not even tried it on a waterline. It also has this end, which is a highlight. And today I accidentally discovered one of the best ways to use it. Typically what I do is the brow first, and then I go, you know, right in here and just do a little bit of the highlight. What I did this morning is I put the line there first. I didn't blend it out. Then I did my brows and what accidentally happened is the brush I used to go through the brows and, you know, get them straight before I put my brow gel in, blended out this part too. It was perfect, perfect. So you guys, this is so exciting. I love it, I love it. Good brow products are exciting. Okay, then I got his lip liner, which I think that's one of the first things he was known for. I think he's from South Carolina. I think I can remember that. I found out about him through one of my subscribers, and then when I went to New York, I went to an Edward Best counter in Barney's, I believe. It was one of those nice big department stores with all of the different levels. And I had a really nice sales associate that really taught me a lot. And I think I got a really good lipstick that day too. And what he's known for are his lip products. This is his natural defining lip liner. He only sells one color and there's two of them in a box. They roll up. It is just the perfect 
neutral lip liner. Not too warm, not too cool, not too brown. It can go a little pink. It could go with red. It's really just going to enhance your lip line. It's not gonna give you a 90s supermodel lip. It's not gonna give you Pam Anderson. It's going to give you a good, solid lip line that completes your lip color, not a lip liner look. I was thinking this this morning, like my channel, it is me, but it, to me, it's not about me, it's about you guys. And so I try to think of all of you and the looks that you like with my input or my taste, my opinions, and that's what I try to do. So that is for my girls that don't want the harsh lip line that I love. <laughs> Now the lipstick I got is called Secret Seduction. And as you can see, it is a just very docile, nudie color. But look at that together. I know if you watched my Amazon video, my Amazon favorites, which right now I'm going to stop and show you one of my all time favorite products that I left out of that video and it was a dagger in my stomach when I realized it. Hold on. Okay, this. I just grabbed it out of a power strip I keep over there. So you plug it in your wall and just leave it there. It's not like it's, you know, ugly or anything. I mean, just put it in a place, you know, that you don't see very much. It's okay, it's a battery pack. It has this cord that charges my iPhone and then it has this cord down here that charges my headphones. I would be lost without this, not just for traveling. Okay, I do take this traveling, like last year when I went to the Like to Know It conference, this was perfect to throw in my purse and then I can charge my phone because we kind of depend on, you know, photos and things when we're going to something like that. Then I used it yesterday and the day we traveled to DC to charge my headphones and my phone. We even used it in the hotel. We plugged this in and then plugged it into my phone to charge my phone because we were with all of us in one little room. We were running out of plugs and chargers, especially with my computer and everything. I would say how I use this the most is around the house. If you are someone like me that loves to go sit on the porch or loves to go sit in your backyard or loves to go sit in a place where there is not a phone charger, and it's usually at the end of the day, and it's usually when your battery is screaming at you that you're at 20%. That is when I come grab this, I plug it in, I just use it like with my phone like that, and then before you know it, it's really a fast charger, then before you know it, you've got enough to last you the rest of the day. And that sounds silly, but it's not to me because I value those times of day. I love it. Okay, sorry. Back to this lip combo. This is what I used in my Amazon video. So you will see it's a very muted, pretty nude lip. A little bit sexy, easy going, not screaming, just a good one. Another thing I wanted to show you, <laughs> I think you guys got my feeling on the velvet hangers. And I told you I understood the whole thin hanger thing, but I had some that were better. It's these. I don't love the way they look, but I do see the point of wanting a thin hanger and this would be my preference over those sticky velvet ones. Okay, and the next thing is this Edward Best palette and it is called Sunlit Sands Naturally Enhancing Eyeshadow Palette and that is exactly what it is. I have this on today and I wore it, I believe I wore this in my Amazon video also. And so you can see how easy it is. It is, all of this is for a more, I hate to say natural look. I still think you'll get a glamorous, pretty sexy look, but I feel like these products are very easy to use and they're not in your face and they're not too over the top. It is so pretty. I want to get the other one. There was more of a cool tone and more of a warm tone. So I wanted to just start with this and I have used this darkest color like over my liner. Very, very pretty. At first I tried to kind of stay in the lines, but today I really just kind of did it all in, that was crazy. Just went all in the brown 
And then I just went all into light colors and did right there. And I think that's how I like it best. And then last but not least from that haul from Revolve is the Kevin Aquan Unforgettable Definer Lip Liner in Minimal. And you would think that this is less than the other, but it's not. I mean, that has a lot of color. I think I'm wearing this today with the Seduction Edward Best lipstick. I think that's what I'm doing because I wanted to be able to show you that look from Monday and this look with it, which gives it a little bit more of a lip line. This is just a good one and a good tribute to him. This is just a cult classic. From the beginning of YouTube, everyone has loved this lip liner. Okay, so now on to some home and some shoes and some clothes. I don't know if you saw these in my Zara video, but these are the Inez Camila platforms. I have these. I think the first ones I bought in the black. No, the first ones I bought were the nude suede. Then I got the black, which is, oh my God. I might say start with the black. There is something about like that lizard type imprint. And then I just got these and I wanted to show you how gorgeous this shoe is. If you don't know, Inez specializes in good looking, sexy heels and shoes that are actually comfortable. I bought one pair when they first came out years ago in a green and I ended up not liking that green but I knew that the shoes were like really good quality and I have some events coming up. I have one, two, three out of town ventures I'm getting ready to go on and this is the kind of thing I like knowing that I have. Something when I'm dressed up I can take with me, I can stand for longer than 20 or 30 minutes and I just think that they're beautiful. So I wanted to show them to you in case you were ever in the market for a good looking comfortable high heel. Then I promise I am not going to bombard you with the Nordstrom sale. If you didn't see that video, I will put it up here. I just got back in town last night at, I think we got home about 6.30 and I went on my walk. I was happy to do it. And then I had my good old steaks for dinner. It was fabulous. But I wanted to show you this. I wanted to just remind you of these. These are so good. These are the Fendi sunglasses. I think I said in the video that they did not touch my nose. <laughs> that would be funny. They don't touch my cheeks. I love them. I feel like they are a must have from the sale. I like these better than the Gucci's. I just love them. I wore them home all day yesterday. They didn't hurt behind my ears. They didn't hurt my nose. They just are perfection. And they're like two something. Right now during the sale, they'll be back up to four or five something after the sale. Okay, now let's go to some home stuff. I'm wondering where to start. Pillows, pillows. For the girl that hates throw pillows, I have purchased many in the past month or so for my, all over my house. These are for my sofa. I just got them, they're beautiful. And these are gonna be your more used cuddly pillows. I know that those ball pillows don't look very cuddly, but between these, the tiger ones, which are cuddly, and this, that gives you that vibe. And I will say that my interior designer picked out all of these for me, and I'm just not good at it. I'm not good at it, I, I admit it. I love to have a beautiful home, but I am just not good at putting it together, I, I admit it. So, so thankful to her for choosing these. It's gonna bring in the golds, the browns, the gray of my sofa, this light color, like I said, you always wanna get sets of two. Okay, let's stand up for the rest. Okay, I'm gonna start off with my outfit, which is Abercrombie. It's this really cool, very sexy tank top that I think is just beautiful. I actually do have an Aritzia bra underneath it with really pretty thin straps, and I love it. It has some stretch in it. So it's kind of like giving me that bodysuit look, but it's a tank top. And I know a lot of people don't even snap their bodysuit. How can you not snap your bodysuit? There's no way I could go around. Maybe if I cut it off, but there is no way I could wear a bodysuit not snapped. It's the Virgo in me. And then these are the trousers, you guys. They're the best. They're better than the Aritzia effortless pant. Much better. They are... I don't, I cannot right now think of a better trouser that I've ever tried. 
ever. And this is the regular length. And I just kind of wanted to start off with this outfit. I'm now wearing the Steve Madden ballet flats. And I have been wearing them all morning around the house, which doesn't sound like much, but I have gone up and down the stairs probably five or six times all around the house just to see how they felt. Did they slip on my heel? Did I feel like I was walking like that? All the things that usually bother me about a flat shoe. And you guys, I just can't say enough. I feel like these are a treasure. And I haven't really seen anybody talk about them with the Nordstrom sale. I mean, I know that they're not like super duper exciting, but to me, they're very Chanel vibes. And I love that they have like that much heel. That helps so much. And they're just gorgeous little shoes. If I continue to like these, I may try the Chanel and then do a review on how they compare. But honestly, like no glue, like hanging out anywhere, like around the heel, that, that's a sign of a cheap shoe. No puckering right here, another sign of a cheap shoe. They're just beautiful shoes. Now, am I ever gonna be someone who loves to wear flats and I'm the girl that always wears flats? No, I'm not. But there are some looks that I want to do. It's kind of like if you love to cook or you love to bake, there's some ingredients that you need, but you're not going to use all the time. That's how I feel about this. And there are times I'm getting ready to go on a trip where I am going to need either sneakers or flat shoes because I'm going to need to walk. I think this is also something good for you to just have with you on vacations or business trips or something that you can whip out and still look pretty with your outfits. To me, they're very chic. They're very cool girl. I mean, Tamara Kalinick wears these in the Chanel all the time with jeans and sweatshirts. Can you feel it? Can you feel the love for these shoes? I'm pretty amazed myself to be honest with you I always wondered why did I always love wearing flats in high school and find them comfortable and I don't now don't do that now and I do think it is that little bit of a heel okay so let's get into some Abercrombie back to I was focusing on these pants and that look of having your trousers and being able to pair it with cool sweatshirts. Because when I think of Abercrombie, I think of jeans, and I'm not crazy about any of their jeans right now. And I think about comfy, soft, really cool, good fitting, right on trend sweatshirts. So I grabbed this one that is, I think, a beautiful color and it's cropped. The size I got is medium because I do generally size up in a sweatshirt. I have really regretted getting smalls in all of my Anina Bing sweatshirts. I'm probably going to end up ordering some of those over in the medium. It might be because my torso is so long and I have an issue with feeling like things are choking me all the time. So that might be it. But this is the... I think it said garment dyed pink one. I think it is so pretty. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm saving that. I'm saving the best for last. Then I got this sweatshirt, which has, I don't know if I would say those are the bat wing, but it has kind of like a dropped, that's what it is, a dropped shoulder sleeve. And look at that cool waistband, how it kind of comes up in the front. You'll see a lot of sweatshirts that are almost corset designed where they come up like that. This is kind of like a nicer, I think more our age appropriate version of that. And I think it is going to look amazing with jeans, joggers, leggings like this with black leggings, a long black vibey coat, like a long black pea coat and then these ballet flats or your sneakers, something like that. I'm telling you, I think that all of this stuff is very valuable, very, very soft. Okay, I grabbed this t-shirt. I believe this was in their top rated and I just really loved this like stone gray. I'm always drawn to, of course, black and white in every t-shirt tank top. And then the next is gray. Most of the time they have that heathered, lighter gray. I really like this color. That's my favorite. I think it's just, I don't know, a little softer. It looks a little dressier than the heathered gray. 
and I think this would look really good with, gosh, I mean, you could wear it out or you could tuck it in these pants and that would definitely be a look. But this is really good for even exercising with your biker shorts. It's longer, it's not cropped, but it is still that boxy cut and it is like the best weight modal blend collection. This is the small. So let's see what modal blend this is. Okay, 74% modal and 26% polyester. So I would say wash, fluff, hang to dry if you don't want it to get kind of um, pulled looking and kind of worn looking, but it's not going to fade. So love that. Then like I always do, I always get a good black sweatshirt. This is from the Your Personal Best Neo Knit. I did get the medium. And this is kind of like that cropped design too. It has the waistband. It looks like it comes up higher in the front. This will be a good one just to style with different things. And then my absolute favorite, and I cannot believe that this is on a velvet hanger. I'm like, um, <laughs> I'm like mommy dearest. Sometimes we do run out of hangers when Brooke is steaming and we have to resort to these. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. Watch how this slips right on my favorite hanger. This sweatshirt, this may mean nothing to you, but you guys, I had this exact t-shirt when I was, let's see, 1982, I was 12. This was right around, it was the spring, it was right around a time that I was staying with my grandparents, my brother and I were, and the Tar Heels had just won this championship, and my granddaddy was really into sports and stuff like this. He took us to T-Shirts Plus. Are you my age? Do you guys remember T-Shirts Plus in the mall? And bought us the T-shirt and had our name. Like, you know, they would do that big steam press. He put our name on them and something else. And I mean, that was like a really big deal because back then the rich kids had a bunch of T-Shirts Plus stuff because it was kind of, I guess expensive or something. Obviously it was a big, I don't know, I felt like it was a great big experience for us to go do that, especially with my granddaddy. And then I think we went and got ice cream or something. So this just brought back the best vibes. I love it, I had to get it. And it might not be that special to you, but I do know that I have lots of North Carolina girls out there and you may need this. And then last but not least on my rack here is a pair of Levi's. One of you sent me these from the Free People website. They're Levi's, let's see, they say XL Balloon. The size I got is 27, which is my typical size in Levi's because Levi's will hurt your feelings. They sometimes run small and then they're rigid. They're not gonna stretch. So I recommend getting your larger size in Levi's so that you don't get your feelings hurt like I have many times. I love the tie. And I wore these the other day when we traveled to DC. I wore them the whole day in the car. I took pictures, so comfortable, wore them out that night. They did not stretch out, you know, where they don't look good anymore. And I came home, took the belt out, washed them and dried them all the way. And this is how they came out looking this good. So that is great because sometimes I feel like when you wash and dry jeans like this, they come out like with a bunch of weird wrinkles in them and they're just never the same. And I wanted to make sure these were. I got them from Essence on sale because they had my size. So I will try to find them everywhere I can and link them below. Hold on just a second. We just hired a lawn service and I need to tell John they're here. Okay, he just went out. He had to mark the sprinkler heads before they start. Okay, I was going to lace this one up to show you, but my nerves can't take these lacing in a hurry. But I wanted to show you the Veja sneakers with these pants too. These are from Nordstrom. I'm not even sure they're from the sale. Loving these. Honestly, I, I really feel like this is a different look. It's not the platform at all. It's just a very low profile, very simple sneaker to go with these pants. Okay, now I wanted to show you this. <laughs> I will stop at nothing. I will share it all. This is the cocktail type table that I ordered from Amazon to go right here. They just sent me a message saying that my art for over here 
and my coffee table is shipping soon. So I had purchased this little table just to sit in between the white chairs for a drink, just a little cocktail table. But I brought down the one from Anthropology upstairs and John really likes that one. So I will probably just take this back upstairs and use it somewhere because I do like it. I really love the spindle look and I'll probably use it in my closet room. Oh my gosh, you guys, these were waiting for me when I got back from our little trip and they are so pretty. I talked about these in my Amazon video on how important coffee table books are and how you can decorate with them. And I really feel like don't just go get the Tom Ford or the ones that are the most popular. Get ones that really speak to you and speak to what you're interested in and that you like the cover of them. Get whichever ones you want, but I chose the ones that I really liked the way they looked. This is the first one. They do still have the wrapping because I have not taken it off because I'm scared I want them to look good. <laughs> I might be one of those people like leaves the plastic on the lamps or the sofa. I won't do that, but that's how I feel. I don't want them to get messed up until I decide where I want to put them. But this is the Valentino. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna turn that lamp off so you can, or that light off so you can really, really see them. Look at how pretty that is. And so that's gonna be what you see if you stack it, because you'll choose whether you want that to show or that. And then remember when I mentioned Slim Aaron's? This is like the epitome of what I love. It's this retro vibe, the pool, people having fun. I mean, I just love it. The palm trees, it's a little bit Miami. It is just everything. The 60s, look at the guy, you know, with the short little, it just reminds me of my childhood. And I, I shouldn't say that. Maybe it's the 70s, because I was a child in the 70s, but it just reminds me of that. It's so old Hollywood. I just love it. So that is a good way to get some Slim Aaron's art in your house. And then this doesn't have a wrapper on it. This is just the definitive visual history of fashion. What I loved about this were the colors, the chartreuse and this like hot pink. Look how pretty that is, like on black or just stacked with some other things. Oh, and then this, John did not understand my excitement. I ordered this Kate Moss book and it said that you couldn't choose the cover. They gave you like a, a look of several different ones and there were just some I wasn't quite as crazy about and they sent me a good one. So this is my Kate Moss book. Isn't that fabulous? I love it. I just thought this morning, I want to get some to go under the vase or something, or maybe that big bowl on John's dresser, his chest of drawers. And I want to get something that kind of goes with him and I both. Like, of course, the beach. He, he was a big surfer. Maybe I'll get something like that. Or he's a big golfer. Maybe I'll get something like that. But it's really neat to kind of um, think about you know, what colors, what vibe, you know, all the different things you want to do. And for accessories today, I have on my Jenny Bird balloon hoops, Sheila Fajal ring, and the necklace I just got from Nordstrom, and my ideal diamond necklace, and my Michelle watch. They don't have a black one, but they do have Michelle watches on the sale too, and I've really enjoyed mine. And thank you so much for being here. I'll leave my Sleep and Glow code below and I will see you really soon. Oh, this weekend I have a huge Revolve try on haul. Some really good stuff, some different things, some stuff for summer and some stuff for the fall and lots of denim. So see you then.